Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are doing a 100% drugstore get ready with me, which means everything I used from A to Z is affordable and available at the drugstore. So we're gonna start out with a primer that's new from Milani that I have really been enjoying. And this both blurs your pores and it also smooths everything out, has a little bit of a luminous finish, which just makes the skin look really dewy, but perfect and blurred at the same time. I really love it. I'm actually using a e.l.f. foundation brush to kind of smooth the product everywhere. And then we're moving into the new favorite, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation that is $5.99. It is so incredible. It really covers beautifully. There's no flashback. It makes you look like you have perfect skin without anything being terribly heavy. So I am just kind of bouncing the product on my skin with the Eco Tools sponge that kind of looks like the Beauty Blender. I've really been enjoying this one as well. And then I'm going to an old favorite. This is from Maybelline. This is the Age Rewind in Neutralizer. I love using this particular product for concealing whenever I'm gonna be highlighting the face as well. You see I'm taking it down, covering those lines around my mouth, taking it up underneath the eye. And whenever I'm gonna be quite liberal with the product, you see me even going down the nose, this is just what I enjoy using. I'm actually mixing another shade in. I'm not quite sure why I thought that was a bright idea, but I was trying something new. I don't think it made a big, huge difference, but you can definitely custom blend your concealers together if you choose to, I guess is my point. So I am taking the sharper end of that uh, faux beauty blender and kind of pushing and pressing the product into my skin. That's actually something that is really unique to this sponge that I love. It's that edge that allows you to blend out any highlight. It allows you to get close to the nose, close to the lower lash line. It's just a really great product. I don't know what on earth that little dance was, but let's continue with even more concealer. So we're gonna be using the L'Oreal concealer now. This is a palette that I think is fantastic. It actually has a ton of coverage. You can see I am making my sunspot that I always complain about completely vanish. I'm also covering up a little bit of hyperpigmentation on my cheeks, just patting it in with my fingertip, nothing too crazy. Actually, I take that back. Here I'm being totally crazy and picky and using a brush. But my point is you really can use either a brush or your fingertips. It will work great both ways. Next, we're gonna set everything with a little bit of powder. This is a favorite of mine from CoverGirl. This is the Advanced Radiance Press Powder, and it is so fantastic for underneath the eye. It sets everything, locks it in place, and then I have to go in with the new favorite, which I tried out on my channel recently. This is the Outlast All Day, and you can see it just sits on the skin really beautifully. It locks everything in again, and I am loving it. So now I'm just kind of further pressing everything together and blending with a larger brush, then moving on to a little bit of bronzer. And this is technically a powder. It's from Wet n Wild. It is, again, from the Photo Focus range. And I am just hitting the perimeter of my face, bronzing things up, and kind of sculpting at the same time. I really love the tone of this product. I like that there's a little bit of a sheen in it, but it's not shiny by any means. It just gives a nice, subtle kind of a glow, which is not really a glow. It's almost more like your skin looks just really, really hydrated. And now we are going to smell this blush because it smells like vacation. And I think that is why I really like using it because it smells so freaking good. It's from Physicians Formula. This is a new one. I tried a different shade during a first impressions haul. This is more of a glowy peachy tone, this other shade that I'm using right now, and I like it even more. Now I'm going into another, whoops, there we go, try again, Tati. I'm going into the Contour Trio from Physicians Formula. You guys, this is incredible. I am so surprised by how well this contours. It's so smooth, there's no skipping. It is the lightest amount of pigment, but it's like that just enough to kind of get the job done without making it look like you have stripes all over your face, which, None of us want, right? We want it to look as natural as possible. All right, I'm gonna scoot you guys closer and we're gonna start with a little filling in of the brows. So I, of course, am going to be using drugstore brow products here as well. I just did a video dedicated to the best and worst drugstore products as far as brows are concerned. And this one right here from L'Oreal, this finely tipped 
brow pencil is incredible. It works just as well as the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I was going back and forth on that for a while, but I have to say this works really beautifully. It fills things in, it's not overly pigmented, and it gets the job done really nicely, and it's about half the price. Now we're gonna go into this eyeshadow palette from Physicians Formula, and I am just taking this just kind of above my crease, really creating a nice, realistic, warm-toned shadow, because we are gonna play with color today Day, and I wanted something for the color to actually blend into so I'm taking my time and just fanning a little bit of color very lightly through the crease back and forth nothing major here but definitely make sure you take your time to blend out those edges so now I'm taking a pencil brush and I'm gonna take that same shade that I used in the crease and I'm gonna drag this along the lower lash line. And the thing that will surprise you is this lower lash line brush, AKA pencil brush is from e.l.f. And it literally, I think was $2. It's so nice. It blends the product beautifully, and I have been using this nonstop, even with more expensive items. All right, so we're gonna go into a Maybelline eyeshadow that is $3.99. I'm taking a brush from Makeup Geek, and I am going on the outer corner, and I am going to just very gently on the very far outer corner of my eye, kind of using circular motions, try to blend that out without getting the color too far in or too far up. So I'm really taking my time to press the brush sideways on the outer portion of the lid and then tip it upward and just really focus on blending it on the spot where I want the color. So now I'm taking this gorgeous green shade from Maybelline. This is again, $3.99. It is so pigmented and so easy to blend. I'm using my fingertip just to press this on the lid. I'm not going above into the crease or kind of smearing the color everywhere. I'm focusing it on just the lid itself. And then I am gonna take a brush and smooth out those edges. So now that I have the color the way I want it, I am gonna take a fluffy crease brush and smooth everything out. So I'm kind of focusing on smoothing that outer corner, but I am taking it a little bit into the crease as well to make sure all the color is meeting together. And I'm now taking a flat brush to layer on just a tiny bit more of the green. So I'm kind of going back and forth, and that's a nice thing to do when you're playing with actual vibrant color. All right, here's where it gets a little bit fun. I'm taking another color from Maybelline, and I am pressing it just on the center portion of my lid just to create a real haloed kind of beautiful glowy effect on the lid. It makes your eye shape look a little bit more round and I love that look. So now I'm setting my brows with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist uh, Brow Plumper and this does plump up your brows quite a bit and sets them into place. So now back to the eyes. We're kind of going a little back and forth and this is the area where I feel like things got kind of crazy. This is a new product from Physicians Formula and leave it to me to try a new product like this while doing a tutorial for the first time. I'm not a fan of this. It is just too like too cushiony and a little bit too soft. So I did have a bit of a time doing my eyeliner, don't mind that, but we got there somehow. I just wanna make sure you guys know that I'm not like a crazy fan of that product. All right, moving on to a little mascara. I am using the one that I featured in my under five video from Essence. This is just a really nice, elongating, beautiful mascara. I have been enjoying it. And I am gonna be using false lashes today, so I'm not putting on too much, I'm just, putting on a nice coat so that they blend together. All right, next we're moving on to lashes. These are corner lashes, which are very natural. They're pretty easy to apply, and they are the eyelashes that uh, Nikki Philippi, my sweet friend, collaborated with, and I love this style. It's very uh, daytime friendly, and I feel like a beginner could definitely use this style. They're not too intimidating. And my lashes are on, and we're gonna scoot the camera back out and finish up with a little bit of lip action. I am using a liner from Maybelline. This is an automatic pencil that is amazing. I've been addicted to it. And now I'm also taking a lipstick from Maybelline. This is a matte lipstick and it was a little bit too matte for the look that I was going for. So I am gonna layer a gloss on top, but this is a really pretty formula. If you do like a matte lip, it's not bad at all. So now I'm gonna add a gorgeous gloss that is an absolute lip plumper as well from Soap and Glory. I feel like it kind of makes the look. And then pile on the highlighter. This is from Makeup Revolution. It is one of the most gorgeous, gorgeous highlighters out there. I'm gonna be sure to set it all with a little setting spray from Milani. And here's your completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching.